Ships are exactly the same. They bend. They're designed to bend and move. And if I don't load the ship properly, eventually it'll just snap in two and sink. And that is the most important part of my job, to make sure the cargo is loaded and discharged with the ship staying in a stable condition at all times, so that she doesn't break in two. That's the first mate's job. The second mate keeps the 12 to four watch. He starts work at midnight and knocks off at four o'clock in the morning. And he goes back to work again at lunchtime, midday, and knocks off at four o'clock in the afternoon. He's also the navigating officer on board. He's responsible for keeping all our charts and our publications up to date. Now I'll show you where the charts are. Okay? Where we are at the moment is there. Okay? On this chart. Now, the British Admiralty, which make all the British charts, make about three and a half thousand charts and a couple of hundred publications, books. There's pilots, there's light lists. Every lighthouse, every boy in the world is in a book called a light list, which will tell you its location, its characteristic, how it flashes, what color it is, what markings it's got. So you can go anywhere in the world and you'll know what the light should be doing. There are books called pilots, which will tell you all sorts of interesting things, like in the Pacific, the, the natives are friendly. That in 1956, there were 24 natives living on this island. They're not headhunters. Well, there's a mission on the eastern side of the island. You can anchor here. There's reefs there. So it's like an atlas or um, a dictionary of all of the islands and coastlines of the world. And it will give you information. So you've got to go somewhere where you've never been before. You can do a bit of homework and find out about the place you're going to. All it does is go from Australia to Japan and back to Australia again. But if you're on a ship that was tramping around the world, not knowing where you'd go next, and a lot of bulk carriers like this do that, they never know where they're going next. They'll take coal from Australia to Japan, their next cargo will be down in India where they've got to load iron ore for Europe, and they'll go across to America and load coal for England. They go all over the place. They need thousands of charts, and it's the second mate's job to keep them all up to date. It's always changing. Have you ever been, have you been on a ship before? No. Yes. Do you think it's a nice ship? Yes. It's a big ship. Yes. It's the second biggest ship in Australia. It's one bigger. We own that as well, it's the Iron Pacific. What we want you to do is study hard, and maybe you'll come to sea. You can travel all over the place and do like that. Girls can come too. Yeah, girls can come into the industry as well. It used to be only boys, but now You've got to watch here. Up the step. And up the step over and down. Yeah. I if I heard this, I would think so. Thank you, John. Go down this step. Watch the step. Oh. Oh, the caterer's mess room. I wonder if it's in a mess. It's a dirty mess. Yeah. No, not yet, that's what we're going to do. Okay, if we get in the line, keeping your twos, what we do is do five parts. This is the duty mess where the people have their meals. On the left hand side over there is the is the like the dining room or the saloon. One on that side and there's one on this side. So that's where they sit down and have meals. When they've got their working clothes on, they normally have their meal in here. Okay? So what we're going to do is file past where the, the chief uh, cook and his offside are making the meal. So we'll go in this door and come out the other side. There's no days off. I don't get any holidays. <laughs> Be nice and quiet.